guys we are up and at it earlier this morning we are back in the stealthy stealth craft today doing a little ninja mission heading down the river we had quite a drive quite a trek down here but we are making it we are on an early season scouting mission we've had some good weather lately that might set us up for some early kings in the river so we'll have to see we're hopeful but this is definitely gonna be a gamble mission. You see all these sticks going by me? I'm just like, I can't see with this light and I'm just watching sticks just pass by my face. I can see like in front of us, so I'm missing Maggie, but I'm just like, we got, they're reaching in out of me here, guys. I think we just pushed a bunch of kings off right that bridge. Oh yeah, we did. There are fish in the river, baby. That was big king that just splashed next to the boat right there. There might not be a lot of them, but there's one for sure. That's a great sign. We're gonna go down pretty much, guys. We're just going for the morning. We're gonna go to a couple good holes that I know, and if there's any kind of numbers coming up, they're gonna be there. So fingers crossed we can find a couple. There'll be some sitting in the holes, but there's definitely a couple coming up the river. Well guys, we just got down to the hole. This is our first time fishing for salmon this year. I'm super excited. We woke up really early this morning and we floated down the river in the dark and now we're just letting it get light for a little while. Kyle just set up our rods and then, yeah, we're gonna start fishing. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. What the heck is that? It looks so trouty. Yeah, I might fling about an eight inch trout back at you, Maggie. Oh, what the heck, dude, gotta be trout. Gotta be trout, gotta be trout. Okay. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, jeez, look at that guy. Whoa. Pterodactyls around here. Oh, they're not trout. 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 Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's going up over there. Oh my gosh. He's so high. He's so high. He's so high. Oh my gosh, I thought he just came off. Huh? <laughs> I thought he just came off. He's trying to get me in the bushes. He's up in that tree. I am out of breath. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a trout bite. Oh, God. Oh my gosh, it's a hog, too. It's a freaking hog. It's a hog. Oh my God, guys. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got it, baby! We got it! Oh. 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 Guys, 
I am shaking. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a, a fish, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. I am shaking so hard right now, guys. That was insane. I, I thought it was a trout bite. I thought it was a freaking trout bite. I'd been bopped there. I gotta put her down, man. I had been bopped there like four or five different times, casting a row. We have, mind you, we have no idea there's kings in here. We are on a straight exploratory mission. I literally thought it was a trout bite. I saw a ton of little trout darting around and my bobber just kept bouncing in the same spot and all of a sudden it just rocketed down and I didn't even set that hard. I just kind of gave it a decent little crack and that thing just came out of the water. I didn't even, I was speechless. I was totally speechless and just a beautiful hen, beautiful king on a orange spawn sack, guys. Orange spawn sack, perfectly hooked, unbelievable. I, I, I can't believe that just happened, dude. I can't believe that happened. I'm freaking right now. <sighs> yep, yep. Fish, 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 fish. Fish. On the inside edge of that seam. Oh, he came off. He came off, guys. He came off. Oh, he came off. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I am freaking shaking right now. I am freaking shaking right now. There are kings in the hole. <laughs> There's kings in the hole, guys. Dude, took my bag. I don't think so. Whoa, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now I do think that other one was a fish. Okay, Max. Keep it chill. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't. I don't have full confidence in my hook set. I do not have full confidence in my hook set. My arm's tired. <gasps> oh, bummer. He got me in something. He got me in something. Unbelievable, Mags. That, that was a giant. <laughs> Oh, I'm bummed. There's nothing you can do though. Like, what were you supposed to do with that? Be stronger. <laughs> I'm gonna get back out there, guys. Kyle tied me up again. Thank you. And now I'm gonna get ready for my first cast and it's gonna go down. Wham! <laughs> Next cast. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. The next cast. As you're baiting the tree? That was like a steelhead. It jumped three feet off the water. That might have been a scamania. Dude. That might have been a scam. That thing jumped. Where is your bait? I'm waving. Where is it? 
It's in the top of that tree. <laughs> that fish, when I, I was looking at it through the camera mags, the fish was above my head when it jumped out. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That was pretty cool. I'm not even mad about losing that one. There was absolutely nothing I could have done. <laughs> I didn't think, I said it was going to go down for its cast, but I didn't have my heart in it, but then it did. That fish just spit, the, look at the bobber, it's all the way in the top of the tree. <laughs> How ridiculous. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Three casts in a row? Three casts in a row. Oh my gosh, they're so loaded in here. They are loaded. They are loaded. Okay. Focus, 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 focus. Great job, Mags. Heartbreak City, Heartbreak City. I want to move in. Oh, oh, dude, I just got bobbed so hard. I'm set so shallow. I went like three feet deep. And we were just trying to get some B-roll of the reel spinning. My bobber just buried in the middle of the hole. I've seen this hole for like the past hour and haven't, haven't hooked one. But we've been getting little bites. Every about 10, 15 casts we'll get a bob right in the middle of the hole. We know it's a fish because it's right in the meat of the hole. This hole's like 8 feet deep and we're set like 5, 4, 5 feet deep. So there's just no question it's a fish. You know, pretty much when you come out here early season like this, you have to have the mindset that you're not going to catch anything. You're not even going to see anything because if you come out here with high expectations, you're going to be let down and that's just not the reality of the situation. We were lucky today and we landed on some fish first thing in the morning, but we've been watching the weather. Now a couple things to watch for guys, if you're going to come out and look for these early season fish is one, north winds on the big lake. When the north wind blows, it brings cold water in close to the river mouth and that's going to pull those fish in close to the river mouth and two is rain. If you get a north wind that pulls that cold water in, then you get a little spurt of rain, which raises the water level in the river. That's a great time to go look for some early season kings. And it just comes down to watching the weather religiously. You know, I'm constantly on my phone checking the weather because I'm constantly on the water. But you just want to look for those conditions. Back in there too. We're on guys. We saw a bunch of kings loaded up underneath this log. Look at them head shaking Max. Oh my gosh. We got him, baby! Oh, we got him, guys! Uh, guys, we were oaring back, and we pretty much just decided we weren't gonna fish anymore. And then we came into this hole, and we saw a few of them in there. Threw in there about 10 times, and nailed this nice buck, guys. That is a beautiful fish, man. Look at that big orange sack. That was exciting. See, that's a good landing size. Why can't Maggie hook that fish? Maggie, why can't Maggie hook that fish? That's a perfect landing size fish. The one she was hooking were just absolute hogs earlier. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna get her back. Woo! <laughs> I think she was ready. I would say she was ready. That was so cool, guys. We're just heading back. It's getting really hot out. It's about 85 degrees, and we just decided we'd just pretty much go back and maybe try it again first thing tomorrow morning. We came into this hole, and we saw a few fish darting around. I backed up on the oars. We got out, made a few casts. We are able to catch another one here today. That was just icing on the cake.